Early in the pandemic, meat shortages impacted the way a lot of people shop for food. That has led more people to two brothers who raise and sell bison meat. They say they have never seen so many customers interested. WCI 3's Andy Olson has more from the Buffalo Ranch of Piah County. When deciding what to have for dinner, bison isn't necessarily first on the menu, but that may be changing. Leap Farms bison meat has become a go-to for a lot of people with the pandemic, slowing the production of beef and more. The brothers in charge say more people are looking local. They always want to know where the meat comes from. There's always been an appreciation for homegrown, local, you know, production of, of food. Uh, but since COVID came along, you know, there was a, a meat shortage in the stores for a while, which I think prompted some people to, to look elsewhere. Leap Farms has had a bison herd here in Piatt County since 2000, and this year has been the most demand they've ever seen. So much so that they've even had to turn some people away. And I hate to do that, but we just haven't have been able to, to keep a supply in because our demand is just overwhelming. The farm has been sold out for over a month but they're hoping to have more in stock within a week. The farm only houses around 50 bison. They hope the new demand and interest sticks around, but for now, they're not looking to expand. I think as of right now, we're going to stick to about, you know, the number of animals we have. Now is my boys, and Jake's going to have a boy here in the fall, so as they get older and they want, you know, take interest in it and they want to do it, then more power to them, you know, if they want to expand the herd. In Monticello, Andy Olson, WCIA3, your local news leader. Another reason why more people are buying bison meat is the price of ground beef has gone up. Now bison doesn't seem so expensive. And Lieb Farms has been passed down through five generations. They only have one bull for the herd. He weighs 2,000 pounds and was bought from Wyoming. He's the only one of the 50 that wasn't born and raised on the farm.